A 57-year-old Florida man was arrested for burglarizing a home where he used to live Mm. and using a makeshift flamethrower. Now, when I read that, I thought, wow, that sounds pretty heavy duty. Did he go to like an army surplus store? Did he build it? Now, Dave is miming uh, a can of hairspray and a lighter, and that's all it was. (laughs) <laughs> still, yes. Still, yeah. I mean, we all did it in high. Most of us did it in high school. Mm-hmm. I don't think that is dangerous, though. <laughs> it can be. My friend Kevin did it in chorus, right down the line of Sopranos. <laughs> oh, now that was good. <laughs> fighting words, right there. Teacher was turned. She was going to the piano. <laughs> you know, I was in chorus. <laughs> Everybody turned around. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> and you would have been the prime target for it too. You, of course, I would have. They would have set your sweater yeah. right on fire. <laughs> That was the funniest thing. Us oh, baritone God. standing there. That's right. Mm-hmm. Like your <laughs> J.C. Penny wool. Our clip on. Oh tie. yeah, your J.C. Penny wool would have gone up your immediately. Vest? My, my sweater vest. Mm-hmm. Good God! You don't. Your it, dollar dicky. Yes, you don't interrupt a choral performance. Well, we were that. still having fun. It was right after lunch, so you know you're still a little, still, still a little rowdy and randy when you come in. Lunch, yeah, yeah, you I need to sell. About. That's right. Well, we had it almost the exact same thing. My friend Craig Amick. Well, I shouldn't give his whole name. Oops. It's too late now. He's a good friend. And I've known him since kindergarten, and we were in Miss Mallard's world history class. Miss Mallard was really dull. I'll tell you that. She, I mean, she was, it was hard to stay awake in that class. Yeah, no problem giving her name, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> to the kids of Ms. Mallard. Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah, it makes you rest. I, li- I always liked her. She was one that I kind of. Who taught geography? Miss Canvas back? <laughs> Yeah, we, it was a set. The very waterfowl uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> faculty. Miss <laughs> Mallard. Mallard was uh, a... <laughs> she was uh, dry as dust. I mean, just as dry mm-hmm. as she could. Very monotoned. And I always felt bad for her because students would cut up in there and make fun of her and that oh, yeah. kind of thing. And I hated that. When kids would do that, I would think, like, you know, come on. Give because her at one point, is, did you still in your life think you were going to be a teacher? Or was that you were still... Yes. Want to be sportscaster. Uh, well, I want to be sportscaster, but teacher was my backup for sure. And I, I mean, you know, still, even to this day, I think one day I'll teach, uh, <laughs> teach young minds. I want to do that. Plus, if people make fun of you, you sympathize it when other people are made fun of. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. that's what happened. Right? Correct. And that's the last time you had empathy. That's, yeah. <laughs> yes. But I always felt badly for her because there's another teacher, golly, chemistry, Miss Choi, and they made a her fun of her. She was Asian. And people made fun of her ad nauseum. I mean, because yeah. she had a, you know, she had a thick accent, and it was a difficult class. And anyway, I had a Spanish teacher like that, such Spanish. Sp- yes, but she was deaf. Oh, really? Yeah. People made fun of her. That's well, challenging, yeah. challenging to learn a new, new language. Everybody yeah. got A's. I Is bet this, she couldn't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all testing me to see if I tell jokes or not? <laughs> Because you're laying out scenarios and jokes are just lining no, up. And lining up. Are you trying to get me cancer? <laughs> <laughs> is that what this all is? Yeah. Oh boy, a guy sent me something the other day about getting the uh, vaccine from China instead of the United States. It's audio. You've probably heard it. And I thought, gee, that'd be really funny, but it gets canceled immediately. You know, it makes fun of a, mm-hmm. an old stereotype. Anyway, Miss <laughs> Mallard's class, my friend Craig Amick in there, and she's turned and writing on the board, and he had a can of WD-40. Ooh, that's and, the best. And he sprayed it, and it was a flame, yeah. eight, you know, across six desks. That and right guard are the creme de la creme. God, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And and it just disappeared right as she turned, and yeah. smoke was hanging in the air. And she's yeah. Like, and, you know, Miss Mallard's like, Craig, What's going on back there? And everybody's like, nothing, you know. Nothing, Miss And uh, Miss Mal- and then she turn again to keep writing on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't feel the heat on her back. No, I mean, I thought Miss Mallard, her taffeta didn't melt. You know, and I, I wanted to tell on Craig, but he was real popular. Yeah. And I knew I'd be putting myself behind the yeah. eight ball. Oh, there yeah, if I tell bad idea. So I didn't tell him, but I thought later I had a word with him outside next to the lockers. I said, Craig, you're going to start a fire if you keep on doing it. It's going to catch on the curtains, it will. and we're going to be on fire. And if he you... said, we didn't start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's probably right about that time. Yeah, it was. It was Ms. Right. Ballard wasn't so dead on the inside that she later wished she, she knew what was going on and just ignored it. She might have been. I mean, she was. <laughs> Aimed toward the curtains. <laughs> I hate to say I that. I wish that kid would have set this place on fire. <laughs> <laughs> she was Mallard. Yeah, and she dated another teacher at the school, mm. Mr. Matthias. And the, golly, I'm giving all mm, these names. Um, but they would go to, they'd sit at lunch. they retired now. He'd pull her chair out, and she'd sit at the lunch table, and they'd sit together. We actually had a set of teachers date and get married. 
Yeah, we I had to add our high school. Yeah, of course. Isn't know. that something? My algebra teacher and my mm-hmm. junior year mm-hmm. U.S. history teacher. I wonder if that's frowned upon now, if teachers date. Back then, they, nobody cared. Everybody knew that they were I together. married teachers in there, too. Mm-hmm. Wade, you're talking about... Uh, Hell, I can't see it. Oh, <laughs> lighting up a, a your own camera hairspray, <laughs> Hair, <laughs> hairspray, and a fire. Go ahead. Oh yeah, uh, this is back in '89, McKinney, Texas, Job Corps. I was one of the delinquents that had to go get an education that way, mm-hmm. and uh, there was a fight between the two quads, and I decided to hang out my window with a uh, can of hairspray and a lighter and set it off. And next thing you know. Here comes the campus police and chased me down and caught me and put me in jail for two days. Ooh. Wow. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. And you, because you're basically setting things on fire. You didn't it's get in a shootout with Insinuating them? a riot. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah, you're armed with your hairspray. Wow. All right. Wait, did you learn your lesson? Hell no. <laughs> uh, no, I always want people to, and they never yeah. seem to. Yeah. It is fun, man. Spraying a lighter with something is just Have fun. you done it? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, heck yes. Oh, I, I mean, right guard really is, when you had spray can right guard, Ooh. that and a, and, a, and a cricket lighter. Ooh. Why do you think that guy shot at Dave? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bitch. I, <laughs> <laughs> I singed him. You got he singed it. me back. <laughs> Oh, I never had the guts to try it. Oh, my gosh. Fire is fun. Oh, no, 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 sir. <laughs> Fire is, is fun. fun. No, no, sir. Especially when you mix in a few drinks. <laughs> you all are talking out we of We do your it outside. I mean, you don't do it inside. I mean, that's that's why we started, uh, and eventually, that's why we started building models. My mm-hmm. brother, me, and yeah. West Coast Bob, we'd build models and then set them on fire in the oh, creek. Oh, no, 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 no. Killing ants? Well, I did do that. Now, with the... With the uh, Magnifying, magnifying glass. glass. Yeah, but then you take it up the level, man. Yeah. Oh, I never. Make things happen with Just it. Just napalm them. Damn right. Man. <laughs> I mean, Craig Amick said, if you want to feel alive, here, take the WD-40, but I didn't take it out of his ass. It just, that's yeah, your deal. Fingerprints wow. be on it. We, but we sure did do it. He did it in the classroom. Chris, you're talking about lighting things on fire. I'm again it. Go ahead. Yeah, man. P1 here from High Point. Thank you. Uh, in college, yes, sir. In college, we used to take the non-dairy creamer from the uh, cafeteria. Mm-hmm. And we run up to the top of the stairwell and sprinkle it out the window. And you have somebody at the bottom with a lighter, and that thing was light the entire way up. It's true. Whoa. I've seen that done. That creamer is flammable. The powdery stuff? Yeah. It's unreal. It was. Was it the is the powdery stuff that's flammable, right? Oh yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, we got to try Boy, this. Boy, that's next level. Dave, easy now. We Fuck. got whole. We got tons of it. <laughs> Uh, there's a man on the radio. His name is Dave Aiken, and he literally is talking about fire, fire is fun. fun. Are you going to listen to something? That like is an incredulity. <laughs> Just I wish somebody in the room might have a light. Uh, oh, lighter. who has a lighter? <laughs> well, I, I, take your choice. I believe I know a couple of gentlemen that may have a lighter in here. We got fire. Might, might be able to produce. Bud, you're talking about fire. Don't say it's fun. Whatever you do. <laughs> So much fun. <laughs> Bud. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yes, we were, I'm sure it was right after lunch, you know, all hopped up on sugar and stuff, but mm-hmm. we were waiting for the teacher to come in the room, and our school building had cinder block walls, mm-hmm. and this guy took hairspray and sprayed just about the entire wall with hairspray, <laughs> and as soon as he struck the lighter, the entire wall just turned into a blue flame. Oh, my God. And the teacher walked in at that moment. <laughs> Oh my God! And just lost his mind. <laughs> it was so funny. I'll bet. He- <laughs> <laughs> now, did the guy that lit it on fire was he caught and punished? Oh, red-handed with yeah. the lighter. Yeah, he had, the, uh, he had the lighter with him. Yeah, yeah. He didn't need no red. <laughs> yeah, that's Great. guilty. Oh my God! You all are giving me the willies even talking about this. Thank yeah. you, Bud. Appreciate. Always the know where your fire extinguisher is. I don't care for that one bit. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nah, never did. I didn't either. In that time, I had no idea where the fire extinguisher. Where's was. the one in this building? Quick. Uh, uh, front? <laughs> right there at the front? Is that the front? Right I only know the one downstairs I bump into. Oh, is there one down there? Yeah, oh, I hit my yeah. arm on Yeah, it. I've hit my arm on that a few times, too. Good point. Yeah. I don't know where they like are. Stumbling out of the break room? Yeah. <laughs> well, you come around the corner quick. I hit yeah. you in the arm. I've lost some M&Ms that way. <laughs> it's been very it's been <laughs> terrible. A lot of people have. Still your whole M&Ms like sure. that.